Welcome. Today is day 21 of 40 days of fasting and prayer on the theme, Go. My name is Alyssa Toms. I'm the administrator and the sound technician at Harvest Time Church in Eau Claire. There are many times in the Bible where God tells us or tells his people not to fear. And that's mainly because God is our comfort. We, we shouldn't have anything to fear. And personally, I get nervous when there are uncertainties that pop up in my life. After watching the beginning of season three of The Chosen, I just, I couldn't imagine going through what these apostles had to go through. They were told by Jesus to go out two by two and teach what Jesus had been teaching them up to this point. They were told to completely rely on the other people that believed in Jesus and what his message was. They had to rely on him, on those people for clothes, for food, and for a place to stay. I mean, completely um, unknown. They were they were walking in complete uncertainty of everything that they know except for their faith. Anxiety is so widespread nowadays. Sometimes the thought of just driving over to a friend's house or the store upsets people. It can be easy for someone to say, oh, just have faith, you'll be fine. But it's deeper than just logicking it away. The only way out of fear is not telling yourself not to fear. It's deepening that relationship with Christ. Psalms 23, 4 says, Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. God is comforting us, like a friend, uh, like a dad, and he's always with us. We should go to him first with our worst fears, and then we should go out fearlessly with Jesus at our side. It is a process, as is every relationship, to just jump in and do things fearlessly. But until you get to that point, do it afraid. Dear God, you are so good. And we come to you today and just surrender, God. We have this fear, have fears of different things, and God, I just... I just want to be able to release them to you, I deepen my relationship with you so that I can genuinely let them go and not have this fear that's so ingrained in, in my life, God. I just pray you take that from me and that we can continue to deepen our relationship together, God. Thank you so much for your goodness and your just your safety and walking us through those dark times. We love you. Amen.